what's good everyone and welcome back to the channel just heading for a ride to Piha um, gonna meet my partner there have a bit of a feed and um, then head back but yeah beautiful day in Auckland today so I thought may as well head out for a little ride um, she's just been out surfing down there so yeah, why not head out there? Perfect opportunity to uh, also make another video. Just thought I would talk a little bit about my thoughts on the V-Rod, which I used to have, and my Lowrider S. Let's start off with the numbers, right? Numbers don't mean everything, but just for, I guess, a comparison sake, we'll We'll talk about what my V-Rod was and what my Lowrider S is. So the V-Rod, when I got that dyno tuned, um, that was 124 horsepower and I think about 80, 87 torque. Um, so my Lowrider is 131 horse and 136 torque so the horsepower difference isn't isn't huge but it's a it's it's enough to make a difference and the torque is um yeah quite a lot different but keep in mind the v-rod has a completely different motor and the v-rod motors rev a lot higher as well both fast bikes both were fast bikes um also my low rider i'm comparing this low rider this has had some work done to it right it's not it's you can't just the v-rod was just straight off the bat 124 just chuck an exhaust intake or just chuck an exhaust and change the filter and 124 horse the low rider man completely different bike to the v-rod doesn't rev as high it's it's a lot nicer to cruise around in purely because my ears aren't ringing as bad the V-Rod A it only had 5 gears so if you're chilling on the motorway around 120 you'll be driven decently high just have a listen to the low rider eh? I'll give it a little bit of a black <laughs> one thing to compare on the V-Rod man I was I was quite low to the ground and when so, like some of these corners like you know New Zealand roads a bit bumpy and stuff um, quite a few times I have been going around the corner and the actual chassis rail of the bike would end up bottoming out um, one time I was out with a mate and we were going through Hanua and we uh, I came around the corner and I actually hit the radiator shroud off the bike and my radiator shroud which the V-Rods have actually broke and went flying back luckily the other bro was behind me and actually stopped picked it up for me put it in the shirt and then caught up to me I didn't even realize I just thought it was a big um, I just thought it was a big bit like I knew I bottomed out but I didn't realize my radiator shroud had gone flying out as well yeah, beautiful day beautiful day I guess servicing wise the V-Rod is a lot more cheaper a because your engine oil is also your transmission oil which is also your primary oil whereas on the lowrider you got three different oils you got your engine oil your transmission oil and then you got your drive oil which is in your primary and that can get very very expensive very quickly so in terms of servicing the low ride is a little bit more costly another thing to note is that my low rider is 2022 right so it's quite a late model bike versus my v-rod which was quite early style um not early style it was quite i guess an early earlier model bike where they still had throttle cables so 
if you didn't know V rods have throttle cables and they run out of here which is how your throttle works whereas compared to my low rider or any late model M8 bike um, it's all done by wire so it's all electronic um, there's no cables to maintain or lube you know you get a nice feel of the throttle every single time um, no maintenance involved there the V-Rods sound cool but they do not have a lumpy idle like this thing and saying that this is cammed my V-Rod wasn't cammed I'm not gonna lie it's a little bit chilly today and I probably should have worn my jacket um, that's okay Okay. For fuel usage, I would say how the bikes are at the moment. So with my low rider that I'm riding right now, not your standard low rider, um, the fuel economy is probably very similar. as well and if you feel like it feel free to give my instagram a follow um i try and put like stories and things up whenever i do go out and yeah if you just happen to give a fuck um make sure to give me a follow on instagram didn't know as well Piha is along the west coast of New Zealand uh, I'm very close to Auckland which is where we are heading guys nice sunny day beautiful 